This is my presentation on my rendition of a dice tower for Dungeons and Dragons. In this project, I was solving the problem of that of when you roll something like a 20-sided dice. In the game of Dungeons and Dragons, when you roll a dice with this many sides, it's going to roll much more than a traditional die. Thus, this often results in the dice bouncing off the table and rolling places you don't want it to. And this just creates an extra hassle for the players to have to get up, go across the room and get the dice, come back, and then roll again. It's just an unnecessary interruption to the game. So as you can see, this is my rendition on a dice tower, which has been made many times, but which I think I've made some good improvements on. Now, the theory behind this, the concept is that it is a tower inside of which there are multiple alternating platforms on the way down. And one when one drops the dice inside of the top of the tower, it will bounce off of these several alternating platforms and then roll out here into this contained area so that you have a nice random roll, but it also keeps the dice contained. And there's also a nice little light animation that I added myself that is just a little extra thing for the players. So as you can see, it comes out pretty much every time with a nice randomized roll. Um, to explain a little bit about how I did this, this is all made out of construction foam. Um, all of these blocks are cut down to 3 eighths of an inch by 3 eighths of an inch by 3 fourths of an inch. And I just stack them all around um, a vase-like structure to keep a consistent form. And on the inside, I put up several foam platforms held up with hot glue and with nails stuck into the side. There are three of these on the way down. So as you drop in the dice here, it will bounce off these several platforms on the way down and come out. Glued under the last platform, which is just right here, I have the circuit playground. And I have run the wires and battery pack for the circuit playground just under this little final ramp to help it, the dice roll out. And so this keeps it concealed and it's a very simple way to add just a little extra pizzazz, I should say, to the game. You know, the players enjoy the little bit of extra feedback when you put in the dice and you get a light showing, kind of making the player feel like they have done something. It's a little interaction that they weren't getting before. Um, so I feel that this project did a great job of solving this problem. It keeps the dice contained um, and it also gives it gives an added interaction to the game that the players didn't have before. And it's something that is not overly distracting or intrusive. And that's my presentation.